Okay, so new unboxing setup, new stuff to unbox. I it's a slightly different. I'm uh, I'm I'm on the other side of my computer. Computer right here. So what are we unboxing? Well if you read the title, and if you read the title, you would know. If you didn't read the title, well, why did you click on this video? Anyway, unboxing. What are we unboxing today? Well, that's the second unboxing of the day. You saw the opening haul video. We unboxed this little guy. That's the little guy back right here. Not unboxing him now. Okay. Not the night. No. Just not. <laughs> Way too small. Anywho, this is what we are unboxing right now. Let's, uh, let's uh, turn the camera a little bit. Okay, this is what we are unboxing right now. The Xbox Series 2 Elite Custom Lab... The, the Xbox Custom Labs Elite Series 2 Controller. And other stuff. Totally did not expect four boxes for this. <laughs> that was annoying. Anywho, um, with that, let's, uh, get some, well, we don't really need scissors for this, for this, uh, this, but Xbox is so smart with this. If, if you can't tell, I'm a pretty big Xbox person. Well, I have two Xboxes behind the camera, so, anywho. <laughs> Now, in other news, I've, this is going to be my third custom controller. My other one... Is right here. We'll do a comparison because you guys probably want to know what I did differently. Then, um... We will also compare it... To these two! The original two that I have. So, I think you can tell I'm a big Xbox person <laughs> if I have that many controllers. Anywho, and that's not even all the controllers I have. So, without further ado, let's get this open. Now, we're not going to start with the actual controller. That's what this one is. This is the main controller. We will not do that right now. We will start with the other stuff. The, uh, the whatever this is. The pad, thumbsticks, and that's it. Pad, the D-pad and thumbsticks. That's what this one is. I don't have the best of lighting for today. My, you can probably see my other light is right there. It's really hard to get out. So, um, yeah, for the Amiibo one, I will definitely have better lighting because I'm making the Elgato one first. Then we will also be... Um, unboxing the Elite Paddles, which, yeah. Then, we also will be unboxing this first, the Case Plus Charger. So, yeah, this is what we are, this first fan controller and comparison with other stuff. So, let's go to this next. Let's start with this stuff, the, um, the sticks. Let's move you guys closer. Okay. So, this is the sticks. So get this open. And if you haven't opened, uh, if you haven't gotten one of these before, Xbox has pull tabs on instead of just normal thing that you have to cut. So, um, you just pull, and there, done. <laughs> okay. So, this will be the first time I'm seeing it, uh, with, with, well, I'm seeing it for the first time with you guys also, so, uh, that's better. Why am I that and I opened it upside down? <laughs> I op opened it very much upside down. I would not have guessed that. Okay. <laughs> Those are so cool. These are my 
sticks and pad and D-pad. I have six orange sticks plus a gunmetal gray gunmetal gray um D-pad. I love the look of these. What else is in here? Nothing other than warning choking heaven. Yeah, just warning choking hazard. But I'm not an idiot. <laughs> Simple. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's walk through these. So we have the normal, ordinary Xbox D pad. So uh, that's that's uh, pretty simple. Then we have the kind of 360 ish. I think that's more this style. The round, the curved end. The rounded end, um, stick. Then we have the very tall stick. Um, then kind of a medium stick, kind of normal, I would think, but I feel like it's not. <laughs> well, this one's about the same size, I think. Let's check. Yeah, these two are the same size. So these two are the same size. You get one tall, one round, two like kind of medium sized, and then you all get two normal. These two are the normal ones that you get on pretty much any standard Xbox controller plus, well, these ones are not standard. They're, <laughs> they're a lot higher quality than the normal ones. So, um... Yeah, let's move those out of the way for the time being. I did not expect it to be upside down. I expect it with that one now. <laughs> I did not expect it with that one. <laughs> okay. So, paddles. This is the paddles. Let's uh, get these open. Just like the last one, pull tab. Sticky pull tab. Well, it's not sticky, but you get what I Okay, there. That won't go there. It's pretty much tape, but as a pull tab. Okay. Let's get this one open. Sort of. How tight is this one? There we go. <laughs> okay. Making sure I open this properly. Oh, okay, so it's too. Okay, so I should open this properly this time. Hmm. Well, if I did, just box on this one. <laughs> was it like that on that one? I don't think it was. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Okay. So, I guess you take this little thing off, and there's the paddles. Oh, boy, those look sick. I got red paddles, metallic red paddles. Yeah, these are cool. So that that's what they look like. I'm not going to take them all out. They look the exact same color-wise. Good. Good to see, they're red paddles, and I'm guessing there's a choking thing in this one. Yep, choking hazard. <laughs> Unnecessary for me. Uh, I'll just put this back in. Okay. So, yeah, paddles. Paddles. <laughs> And we will look at this a little bit later on the control. Uh, let's uh, put this back on top. And uh, put that over there also. Okay. Now it is time for the biggest box out of them all. You would think the controller would be bigger. No, the controller is actually smaller than, no, slightly smaller than. That, uh, let me lower this so you guys can get a better look at it. Okay. Case plus charging thing. So this one, unlike the last two, 
which just had one pull tab on each. This one has two at the top. One here and one here. Same as the last two, you just, uh, they're just nor like tape pull tabs. You just pull them and easy. Super easy to get them out and then you pull. Oh, okay. So, uh, oh my goodness. That is the carrying case. Oh, that looks so sick. I put the red logo on the carrying case along with the red red handle, which looks so cool. It's pretty much the exact same as this case. It was pretty much the exact same. So, um, it has a spot on the back. It has a spot on the back. I don't know if you guys can really see that. There's a spot right right there that um you can plug in the core the charging cord through and plug charge the controller while it sits in the case which is how I store the elite controllers that's how I store this one obviously not the other one because it doesn't have a port <laughs> but um yeah the uh, uh, that elite controller actually is currently in there so <laughs> Um, let's, uh, take the plastic thing off the actual handle, that, that was all on the handle, there we go. Okay, and let's, uh, give this an open for the very first time. Holy cow, that's a lot in there! <laughs> Jeez! Okay, so, we have two bucks. Um... Product warranty and agreement. Okay, so that might come in, come and be necessary to keep. Then this is just uh, tell you what's inside, how to plug it in. So this one, if you don't know how to plug something in, this will tell you how to plug something in. Simple, <laughs> very simple. Okay, so next, let's take some stuff out of this. So, first things first, we have the uh, braided charging cable for the Elite controller. It's uh, it's the exact same control cord as the um, other Elite, the uh, the others, the main series two. That's not really a shock. The other one's green, this one's gray, and the, uh, the other one of the series, the other series two is gray. The first series, the series one was a green braided cord, so I like that it's the same, which means it should charge from the same cord, but um, I'm using it on a different console than that one, so yeah. Then, in this little box, is the charger that goes inside the carrying case. How the heck do you open this? <laughs> I can't get it open. Well, that's good. That's it for the video. Can't get it open. <laughs> There we go, got it. That was very strange. Okay, why? Okay, they have all this packaging. This is the charger. This is, is this excessive. <laughs> that is overly excessive on the packaging. <laughs> okay. And there's the charger, exact same. So, that's the charger for the Elite controller, and it, you can either have it 
in the actual case or out of it. It's up to you. In my view, I would keep it in the case. That's what I would do. But, totally up to you. And um, on this side, that's where the charging port is. You plug it in there. But, um, it is all, the case has a magnetic clamp, a magnetic area for the char charger to go on. And you have the charging port go facing towards the one hole going out and you feed the port in. Pretty darn simple if I do say so myself. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and you also have space for just like the other Elite controller, you have space for all the sticks, the um, paddles, the D-pads, and everything. So, um, yeah. Let's, uh, put this away for right now, and, uh, and actually get to the main piece that everyone is wanting to see. And I already, I already know that because it's true. I know, I know what people want to see and it's the main controller. To be honest, it's also what I want to see. <laughs> so, yeah. Main controller is in this box. Let's get this box out of the way. So, so far, everything that I did came, came right. Let's see if this one did. So, on the back, just like all the other packaging, you designed it, we built it. Didn't show it on, on any of those, but this one does. On the side, it's, it shows what's in it. It's been like that for all of them. So, um, same with this side in a different language. I think I think that Mexican. Yeah, that Mexican. Yeah. Okay. So, without further ado, let's pull the pull tabs and get this controller out of its prison. This one has two pull tabs on the back, so, um, pretty easy, kind of like the last one, it has two, but the last one, it was both on the top. This one, both of them are on the back, and if I'm correct, it should just flip open. If I can get it open. <laughs> I'm kind of struggling. <laughs> I'm really struggling to get this open. <laughs> oh, and it's not a flip open. It actually just pulls completely off. Okay, so unlike the, la the usual elite custom controller boxes that they just usually just pull flip open, this one pulls directly off. And, oh my goodness, that is cool. That is the controller, look at that thing. It is insane. It has the same gun metal D-pad, but as the circular one, the same orange, so you get more orange, um, like normal ones, red buttons, I don't know why I went red, but they actually do look really cool, then I have the gray, um, three buttons here, oh, oh, this is so cool, that is kind of a very dark gunmetal gray on the as the triggers and bumpers and oh <laughs> I love the look of this thing and uh, you have the hair trigger locks on the back which uh, um, allow which stop the uh, the triggers so they um, let me get more comfortable. so um this is more handy for sh shooter games, like, I would think, um, but, 
Uh, just to show you guys, this is probably gonna be the last thing I show. <laughs> and uh, so you um, you flip this switch on the back. Currently, it has no lock, so you it's just normal. Then uh, you do. I now have it on setting two, and it goes in half. It still goes in a little bit. Then if you go to the full trigger lock, it barely goes in at all. It, well, pretty much doesn't go in. Which is the same as the normal Elite. But this one is so much cooler because I built it and it looks so stunning. Now, let's do a comparison. I'm just going to compare it to the... Uh, to these two. Starting with the nor the normal series two elite. This is the normal series two elite. And this is mine. So, very, um, very similar, just different coloring. Uh, trying to, yeah, there we go. Really are, I have it too close. So, yeah, they very similar. I just have mine in red with orange and stuff. I really, really like the way uh, the Elite controller feels. So I can't wait to start using this, this one for, for everything. And now, let's compare it to what I had prior. So it's pretty much the exact same color, both red. So, uh, just this one had, I used gray, black, and normal buttons. Same three buttons I have on both. But, um, then it's different with the, uh, with these. And pretty much everything else. So... I love the, th this one is my main controller, and it probably still will stay that way, but this one will probably become my main, like, this one is my main, but probably not for much longer, <laughs> let's be completely honest, probably not for much longer. So, let's put this one right there. So with that, I hope you all enjoyed today's special unboxing of the Elite Series 2 Custom Controller, which I feel like I did a pretty darn good job designing it, and it came in, came in perfectly. So with that guys, I hope to see you all in the next video. It will it should be the Elgato setup and all the new stuff to go with the desk setup. So that one's gonna be a long one. This one's been a long one also, 23 minutes. So with that guys, I'm Game Nerf5 from the Army Team signing off. I hope to see you all in the next video. Good! Oh, yeah!